It's time for an invasion. Who are they? Can I still do it? Let's see. Power Rangers, C O. C O. Got it. How about that? Yes. Intro sounds, of course, came from the Legacy Zeonizer. Power Rangers Zeo figures are out now. Yellow and pink are from GameStop. All the boxes match. They didn't change the box art for yellow and pink. How many of you guys remember Zeo from when you were kids? I remember watching season three and the power coins had been destroyed. The alien rangers had gone back to Aquatar. Rito and Goldar broke into the command center. They stole the Zeo crystal. And then the command center exploded with Zordon and Alpha still inside. Tommy said, I'll bet this could be the end of the Power Rangers, and then the show ended. I remember being a little bit concerned, but thinking at the same time, there's no way that they're gonna end the show like that, right? I don't know how they're gonna get their powers back, but there's gotta be something coming next, right? And then we started to see those Zeo teasers, which are like still some of my favorite Power Rangers history moments. I love Mighty Morphin, but by season four, I was so ready for a costume change. So Zeo came just in time. How about you guys? Favorite Zeo moment? So finally, with the release of Yellow and Pink, we can build our Zeo mini. Jeffrey! Oh no! What's today? Is it that time? Is Toys R Us gone? Is it over? Well, that's incredibly depressing. At the end of Toys R Us? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, anyway, uh, let's kind of do a recap of all the legacy figures so far. So we've got a full team of season one Mighty Morphin with the Green Ranger. That was the release where yellow was missing paint on her belt and black, blue, and pink had gray belts instead of white. The only way to get chrome swords for the Megazord and for Jason was the metallic Red Ranger figure that was exclusive to Comic-Con in 2016. Full set of Mighty Morphin from the 2017 Lionsgate movie. And if you bought Alpha, then you could make the Megazord from the movie as well. White Ranger, of course, got a release, so that completed seasons one and two for Mighty Morphin. Then we got a set of metallic Mighty Morphin figures, this time with the power weapons replacing the Build-A-Figure Megazord parts. Some of these figures are still showing up at places like GameStop and Walgreens. If you wanted a metallic green and white ranger, you had to get the Fighting Spirit set at New York Comic Con 2017, which also takes us into Zeo. So now we've got a complete full set of Power Rangers Zeo. The only way to get the Zeo 5 Power Sword was also part of that Fighting Spirit set for New York Comic Con 2017. Power Rangers in Space released a set of five with Zane hopefully still coming. Power Rangers Ninja Storm has a complete Wind Ranger team, so red, yellow, and blue, and the Ninja Storm Megazord. Hopefully Crimson and Navy Thunder are still coming. And then finally in the US, you should be able to find red, black, and blue Dino Thunder. No word on yellow Dino Thunder yet. Maybe GameStop exclusive? I don't know. Direct link in the video description for anybody that wants to pre-order Psycho Silver. But, of course, be warned, if they sell out at Comic-Con, your order will be canceled. Comic-Con exclusive Psycho Green. Looks like you kind of have to either go to Comic-Con, know somebody who's going, or maybe eBay. And then another exclusive this August at Power Morphicon. Also direct link in the video description. You can also pre-order at GameStop the Legacy Red Ranger with Dragon Shield. And I think that's everything. Is that everything? Overseas, Austin was able to get his Psycho Red, Blue, and Dino Thunder White from Smith's Online. That's in the UK. Smith's has the Gorilla Zord? I think I need that. Power Rangers Gorilla Blast Zord, yes. Where's my Gorilla Blast Zord at? Ninja Super Steel Blaster? I guess the UK is where it's at. And then it looks like Matt did a little importing and got his Psycho Red and Blue. You can see the packaging has changed, and you can see the Rangers come with weapons, but they don't have the Alpha 5 Build-A-Figure. But otherwise, the Psychos look really good. Hopefully they'll be in the US soon. A very big thanks to Austin and Matt for sharing photos. Thanks, guys. Oh, someone just sent us another photo. This is from Daniel of the White Ranger. That's a really nice shot. All right, we've gotten this far in the video and I haven't shown you guys the Zeo Megazord Build-A-Figure. It's because 
my leg broke. How did I break it? I just tried to put the leg on. And I know a lot of people have had this issue, unfortunately. And of all the photos I've seen, it's specifically this leg. Be very careful. I have bought another Green Ranger. Got this on eBay. I'm gonna try to do this very carefully. I'm gonna go get a hair dryer. Did it. Didn't break. The heat makes the plastic softer. Now join in your Megazord, your black and gold Megazord, your movie Megazord, your Astro Megazord, your Ninja Storm Megazord. Here's a Zeo Megazord. No Dino Thunder yet. Another, you know what? Another good use for a hair dryer is stickers on your box. Let's say you don't want a sticker and you're afraid you're gonna rip the box. Melt the glue. This one's really on here. Let's see if we can get that one too. Assuming you don't want it. Comes right off. You wear it on your cheek if you wanted to. You don't have to, it's just a suggestion. Maybe a bad suggestion. Maybe be careful if you're doing it on plastic because I did kind of shrink the plastic a little there. And totally random, Star Trek Ninja Turtles. Well, I have the hair dryer. This sticker's really hard to get off. This one's not as perfect. It's still a little sticky. That's a shame. Got it off though without ripping the packaging. Could you take a Q-tip and goo gone and... All right, let's find out, hang on. I'll test it on my thing so you don't have to ruin yours. Seems like a bad idea, but let's try. I got a cotton ball and I sprayed some goo gone on it. Is this actually working? It's not ruining the cardboard? No way. That actually worked. I expected to ruin this. Look at that. It's not sticky. I would still take something dry and, you know. All right, little disclaimer. If you're gonna try this, it's at your own risk. You know, maybe test a small spot before you ruin something really fancy. It is absolutely perfect. Look at that. Totally got it off. The box is fine. It's nice and shiny. This is old, too. 1994. And how wonderfully ridiculous is that? <laughs> Star Trek Ninja Turtles. Sure, why not? I think Zeo Megazord looks the most like it needs some more paint, unfortunately. So, uh, I have been doing a little bit of painting. This marker, it's its so easy. I haven't put anything on it. This is just straight out of the box. Take your marker and you just fill in the lines like that. And then take your finger. It's good. Over here. Okay, I'm, I'm not doing this very uh, carefully. I'll finish this on my own time, but just giving you guys some ideas. Also, you could take your paint direct link in the video description. Splendid gold, deco art, dazzling metallics. And there's also the marker. Different result. And you know where else it needs uh, paint is the helmet. Just do a little bit of it. You guys got time? I can do half the head, right? Stay there, hang on. Don't go anywhere. Just we'll do this half. And maybe the marker is winning. Use the sloppiness, but makes a little bit of a difference if the paint is a problem for you. I wish it could just be better in the first place. It's not, this is what we have. So you can certainly complain about it, but you could also do something about it if you want it to be better. All right, real quick though, the way I did the paint, just take a little tiny bit on your brush. I, I kind of like dry brushed it really. Just, it just gives it a metallic shimmer. It's pretty. It's better than it was. If you're going more for this kind of a look, then you either want the marker, spray paint, airbrush, but this will at least make it a little bit more shimmery. What did Zordon say about the cogs? That they would have to be completely dismantled in order to be defeated? I think he made them out to sound a lot worse than they ended up being, but they were terrifying in O-Ranger. You'll have nightmares. Have you guys seen O-Ranger yet? Direct link in the video description to all the Super Sentai DVDs. I'm not sure how kid-friendly this is. It might give you nightmares, so. Maybe older, uh, older audience for O-Ranger. A lot of previously sold out and discontinued legacy toys are back up for pre-order, so you might get another shot at a Tommy Morpher, a Falcon Zord. Once again, direct links right below the video. The Gold Ranger that you're most likely to find in a store today, I believe, has a slightly different paint job. It's a little more golden, really not a huge difference, but between the two, I would definitely take this one. This is the one that I started to customize and his visor isn't gold and that's like really hard to do because it's really, really thin. This one actually has a gold visor, so that's like the most important part to me. Still not the Gold Ranger everybody wanted, but the knees are, are shinier in general. It's like a little bit more shimmery. The visor is the most important part. The staff is definitely shinier gold. All the gold on the figure is a little bit nicer. Not perfect, but nicer. This isn't gold and it's not metallic. 
So this is the one you want. Check your Walgreens, GameStop, online, eBay, Amazon. The gold on New Adam also matches the rest of the Rangers. So again, another paint variant. These figures certainly aren't perfect and I wish they had their weapons, but they're still some of the best Zeo figures we've ever gotten. They look great as a team. Oh yeah, and I specifically put that there so I wouldn't forget to say that Ninja Steel's on DVD. Uh, or coming to DVD, so direct link also in the video description for that. Be very careful with your Zeo Megasword. And I'm going to end here. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will always be back soon with many good videos, and good night.